Hi, and here I am again, and this is your third tip. This one is all about how come you get tired in the afternoon, which also, further on down the road, is a reason that you may wind up having accidents, getting hurt. By the way, there are no accidents. Or getting sick or disease discomforts. You have a finite amount of energy coming in to your body each day. Let's make a picture out of it. Let's call it you have a hundred circuits coming in. Okay? In the interest of time, let's make your looking like this and you've got this 100 circuits coming in and those 100 circuits it's not here, it's 100 circuits, okay? Feeding you the energy you need to get through the entire day. You wake up in the morning, and even before you get out of bed, you think about the argument that you had two weeks ago. Isn't it a fact that many, many women will hold on to the energy from an argument that they had with their partner, or maybe with their boss, or maybe even uh, an acquaintance, just block it in their body. Well, it is a fact, because I'll tell you what, I'm a specialized kinesiologist. I've been doing this for 15 years, and what I noted is 100% of everything wrong in a person's life is a relationship disconnect. People have disconnects between themselves and their higher self, their spirit. I'd say that's at least 99% of the population. In fact, I've never had anybody come to me who didn't have that one. They also have disconnects between themselves and other people. That's obvious to everybody. What isn't obvious is the fact that every time you have an experience, a little energy block happens someplace in your body. In fact, your body is an amazing computer with files all over the place and that one incident just might get stored on many different energy pathways. And the third kind of disconnect that people experience that causes problems is that between themselves and a higher power, a source, the universe, God, Allah, whatever term you choose, it's a higher source in you. So it's really critical to understand what's going on with your relationships. And now back to my story, many people will wake up how about you, in the morning? And, as I said, think about that argument that happened two weeks ago. And while you're thinking about that, guess what's happening? Well, let's say two, three circuits of energy gone for the day. Getting out of bed, your thoughts aren't on what you're doing, stub your toe. Ow. Huh. There goes another circuit. Go on in, shower. Get all dressed, put on your makeup, but you can't get your hair quite right. Then you have this presentation this morning. How come this bad hair day has to happen today? And it only happens on days when you have to have a presentation or be extremely presentable, right? There go some more energy circuits. Well, you go in to get dressed and you have the outfit in mind because the last time you were with this particular client, he remarked about liking a particular outfit that you were wearing, most especially the scarf. So you wanted to dress that way again, not that he's remembering it, but it's already sitting in his mind. And when you come in wearing that same outfit, you're already a step up in his favor of the no I can trust. Except when you reach for the scarf, Oh no. When you were in the restaurant last week, the waiter put some orange juice on it. And I'll tell you, orange juice really destroys, and you haven't taken it to the cleaners yet, so you can't wear it. And that's what you were sure you were going to wear today. There go some more circuits. Well, you finally get down to the kitchen. Oh, you don't have enough time to eat. So you run out to the car not fueling your body, figuring you'll pick something up along the road, which isn't going to fuel your body. There goes some more circuits. Riding down the road. 
And a voice tells you, it's a voice inside, or maybe just a gut feeling, get out this exit, take the next right. And you think to yourself, what is that? That's not going to get me where I'm going. So you ignore it. And you plow into traffic that's at a standstill. Well, that was your intuition, your spirit talking to you, because it knew that down the road, the traffic was not moving. By the time you get into your office, you have used up half of your circuits, and it's still morning. Now imagine that these kinds of things are going on all day because they are. Things will trigger memories that you have, and when that gets triggered, every time you have a bad feeling, oh, you got to get some energy in there to replace it. If you're not drinking enough pure water, coffee, tea, juice, soup, they don't count as water in your body, you are stressing your body. Your brain gets first dibs of energy, but if you're feeling foggy, you better know you're already very, very badly dehydrated. So you find yourself really droopy in the afternoon, but it's not just the afternoon. As the day goes on, you've used up. All the circuits allotted to you for the day, but you still have a whole evening ahead of you. What are you going to do? Where are you going to find energy to feed you? I'll tell you where you're going to find the energy to feed you the rest of the night. It's going to come out of your organs, out of your cells, out of your body. It's going to come out of your liver. And your, what's that? Your spleen. This is how people wind up sick. They need the energy to get through today because they used it We're calling relationship issues from the previous day, from that day. Sometimes it's from something that happened 10, 20, 30 or more years ago. Still locked in your body that you're still chewing on every day. You have 65,000 thoughts every day. 95% of them. 95% of the same that you had the day before. How is your next day going to be different from the day before? You are killing yourself slowly by pulling the energy out of your cell tissue. Learn how to put your past in your past and as soon as something happens you have a choice. You get to interpret whether it's a good or a bad. And sometimes it really is awfully bad. But you know what? If it's awfully bad, then it's also awfully good. And you can learn the lesson and see the gift. I'm not saying laugh at awful experiences. I'm saying look for the gift in the situation because it's an opportunity to grow. Now, I know we went a little long with that one. But I wanted you to really understand relationships are running everything about your well-being, about your cash flow, completely out of your awareness. What are you going to do about it? Look for my next email and we'll go on to the next step.